there were some who their knowledge, desire to grow in academia and research um, were an um, important characteristic. But the important thing um, to recognize that there are many dimensions to being a successful physician. And these young doctors embody all of those in um, a large degree. Um, that makes us very proud to say that they are products of the Queen Elizabeth Hospital and we look forward to their contribution not just to our hospital and to our country but also there's a whole world of medicine which is theirs for the undertaking. The Many stories of previous experiences however I was unsure what to expect. This reality quickly came true on September 1st, 2021, when he walked through the doors, not as a student, but as an intern who was now the first point of contact for patients. I went in nervous, but ex excited at what lies ahead. Internship felt like a never-ending year, comprising of many sleepless nights and long days, which brought out various emotions. This was coupled with days which were equally as rewarding and made me appreciate the value I was able to provide to the patients. Being able to experience the various rotations, obstetrics and gynecology, internal medicine, pediatrics and surgery, I was able to gather valuable experience, shadowing some of the leading consultants and their team of doctors. My advice to all upcoming doctors is to stay focused on your goal, despite the many challenges you will face, as the reward will be greater than the tests you will face. A strong support system, teamwork, commitment and dedication are key to your success. I would like to close by firstly thanking the Almighty Allah for my success. On behalf of my colleagues and I, we would like to thank the Queen Elizabeth Hospital for selecting us as re recipients for these awards. Thanks to my mom and dad, my family, the late Dr. Nagdi, my friends, seniors, nursing staff, and all ancillary staff for the encouragement and support over the year. My life to the service of humanity. I will make the health and well-being of my patient my first consideration. I will respect the autonomy and dignity of my patient. I will maintain the utmost respect for human life. I will not permit considerations of age, disease, or disability, creed, ethnic origin, gender, nationality, political affiliation, race, sexual orientation, social standing, or any other factor to intervene between my duty and my patient. I will respect the secrets that are confided in me even after the patient has died. I will practice my profession with conscience and dignity and in accordance with the medical practice. I will foster the honor and noble traditions of the medical profession. I will give to my teachers, colleagues, and students the respect and gratitude that is their due. I will share my medical knowledge for the benefit of the patient and the advancement of healthcare. I will attend to my own health, well-being, and abilities in order to provide care of the highest standard. I will not use my medical knowledge to violate human rights and civil liberties, even under threat. I made these promises solemnly, freely, and upon my honor.